Hey there. Oops. I'm back to review the Coats tinted sunscreens for the face. Hello. <laughs> I wanted to do a little breakdown and discuss the differences between these two sunscreens. One is marketed as a primer, whereas the other one is just a simple face sunscreen. So for simplicity's sake, I'll refer to the primer as the primer, flawless complexion as the face. Today, what I'm gonna do is just review some of the breakdown of the specs and also do a trial where I'll put the primer on one half of my face and the other one on the other half of my face. These are both available on Amazon at similar price points, but the amount you get is significantly different. So with the primer, you get 1.5 ounces, whereas with the face, you get 2.5 ounces. And actually the primer is marginally more expensive. I think when I purchased it, it was $26.50, while the face was $25. Primer has an SPF of 40, face has an SPF of 50. So you're getting more protection SPF wise or UVB wise with the face. The primer has a PA rating of 3 plus. The face does not list a PA rating. However, we can reasonably assume that it's at least a PA of 3 plus. The primer is actually water resistant for 80 minutes. The face is not. They are both oil free, alcohol free, and reef friendly. No animal testing. In terms of the active sunscreen filters, these are both mineral sunscreens. That's actually built into the name as I found out after I got these packages. Coats stands for contains only titanium zinc. Who would have known? The packaging kind of looks medicinal. It sort of looks like a hospital in a box. You know, they're going for kind of a no nonsense formula that just has what it needs. The primer has both titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, whereas the face only has zinc oxide. Now in terms of ingredients, face has significantly more ingredients, but it also contains a hydrating ingredient glycerin, in addition to some waxes and dimethicone. The primer has much fewer ingredients, has some dimethicones, and also alumina, which Fun fact, is used as a coating for titanium dioxide to prevent oxidative stress that occurs when, when titanium dioxide particles are exposed to sunlight. So that's why you'll find alumina in a lot of products containing titanium dioxide. Really it's minimal amount of ingredients, but no hydrating ingredient in here. Just know that you're not getting much hydration, but there are lots of dimethicones in here, so you do get a nice like moisturizing component to prevent water loss. Obviously they're both fragrance free. I don't know why I didn't mention that. I think it just went without saying. All right, I guess we can just go into the trial now. There's not you know, a whole lot to really comment on since these are sort of minimal. Cool, so it comes in this slender tube, the primer, at least. Let's check out the face. I'm gonna put the face on my left side of the face and I'll put the primer on my right. This is the face, this is the primer. So definitely a difference in color and consistency. Face seems a lot more, well, runny is not the right word, but yeah, I guess runny. And the primer just seems like thicker. All right, let's test them out. So this is the face. It feels a little thick still, even though it had more of a runny consistency. It seems to be just disappearing very quickly, as the box suggests with its vanishing zinc oxide. You know, I didn't use that much though, so I'm actually gonna go in and apply the recommended amount after I do this quick test. So here's the primer, let's see what that looks like. Thicker, a little bit more difficult to rub in, but not bad. So right off the bat, you can really tell that the primer is much more matte and the face has more of a shine to it. So I'll use up the rest that's on my hand, but then I'm gonna actually go in and do the amount that I would typically use for a tinted, for, for a sunscreen. Okay, the face one on my left is starting to kind of tingle and burn a little bit, so I don't know what's happening. It has happened to me before. I know other people have mentioned that zinc sunscreens have caused like 
burning on their skin. It has a high amount of zinc in it at 20%. It's really not that bad and it's kind of dissipating. Face. So, you know, it looks a lot different when you use the correct amount. Kind of jarringly light, but hopefully it'll vanish. It's still quite wet right now. All right, it's it's definitely vanishing quickly. Um, it's burning around my eyes. It feels like a lot of heat, like I just put a heat pad on my face. So I don't know about that. Try the tinted. And I didn't mention this, but I believe the tinted is also sold in a lighter formula. So this one is just a regular tint. This one goes on much less alarmingly light. I don't know, it's still light and we'll wait for it to dry down. My left side with the face has really vanished. Um, it's shiny as you can see, but I don't mind that. I actually prefer that in a sunscreen. Just waiting. So I'll let these things settle in and I'll come back and tell you my final verdict. It's been maybe like five to 10 minutes, I'm not sure. Not that long. And there are some major changes, especially with the primer. It's not as bad on the hairline anymore. It kind of disappeared. I have some newly formulated opinions, namely that the face sunscreen is very similar to the CeraVe SPF 30 tinted. In the finish, it's shiny and the color it wears just very similarly to CeraVe and I really like that sunscreen so this is a really great contender for a potential ongoing sunscreen for me. I did say that it burned and it did slightly when I first applied it that quickly dissipated. Like I said other products have done the same thing to me including the CeraVe tinted sunscreen. Kind of am assuming that that will dis that will not be the case anymore and I'll just let you know right here. So the primer has more of a matte finish, which is nice, especially for on camera, because I feel like shiny sunscreens tend to read as greasy on camera. So that's probably what I would use this for. But for my everyday, I do prefer something with a little bit more of a shine, something with some more hydration. Also, like, you know, I use tinted sunscreens as my final step, just as a little extra protection from blue lights. I think that the face sunscreen will work for more skin tones, whereas this primer is kind of more, a little bit more specific, but it does dry down very well. It works well on my skin. I just don't know that it would work well on darker skin tones or even lighter skin tones. But like I said, there is a lighter version available. I'll link it below. But both of these are really good, in my opinion, so far. They're not sticky. They don't feel like I'm wearing anything, they're comfortable. And in terms of the this face, like I said, because it's so comparable to the CeraVe, but it has a higher SPF, this might become one of my more regular sunscreens. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below, ring the bell, and like the video if you liked it. Or dislike it if you didn't like it. Goodbye.